Hello everyone, no respawns here. So in this video, I have made my All Faiths Chapel. So this is inspired a wee bit, a wee bit, by dint of the name, by the one in Diamond City. So there is actually an All Faiths Chapel, and when you see the tour, you will see that I actually use the All Faiths Chapel sign. This is from Diamond City. It's actually one of those little buildings that you can easily miss, but there is actually an All Faiths Chapel, and it looks quite cool. So it doesn't actually look anything like that, but I was inspired by the premise, shall we say. And also, I hadn't made one of these in a while, so I thought I'll make something quite cool. And guess what? Guess what? I'm quite chuffed with this. I've been quite chuffed with a lot of my builds recently. One day, I'll start a video with, like, didn't work out, lads. It's shit. But in this instance, pretty pleased, in fact. So following on from what I've been trying to do with the last few of my videos is what I'm trying to do is use the normal building blocks but in unconventional ways and you'll see this with this one or also by the way I am vaguely this turns out really cool but I am experimenting as I go so for example you'll see me like with the roof especially completely change my idea around so get ready for that but don't worry I chop all of the chaff out because I'm good to you uh, so basically the actual structure is initially quite dull but it works out quite well, you'll see. Oh, by the way, I have two tours for this one. I do a daytime tour and a nighttime tour because it looks awesome at night, but it looks awesome at day, so you'll get to see it lit up. Because I have been... Well, it's, it's a chapel, so it's got loads of candles. I use one of the spotlights. It looks absolutely grand. For those of you curious, because I've mentioned I like using audiobooks, I am currently listening to, while, watch, while, while I was making this, the Primarchs Perturabo one. Perturabo, this may be a bit heretical because you know I'm all about the Imperium but Puerto Rabo is probably my favorite fallen Primarch because I feel he's really nice and just wants to build nice houses and mean nasty imps may he not smite me makes Puerto instead kind of lay siege seriously it's actually on a little bit of a tangent here he's like the one Primarch that kind of you just think why are you guys being such a dick to him? I don't get it, but anyway. Anyway, very good. Haven't finished it yet. Haven't actually finished the Magnus the Red one as well, but for some reason my Audible didn't save my place. I couldn't for the life of me remember where I was, so I'll just, you know, I'll finish that one off another day. So basically, here is me thinking. <laughs> Should have cut out the thinking, to be fair, but it's fine. It's fine. So I wasn't too sure at first what kind of roof, and I, what I go for, basically, spoiler, spoiling and ruining it for you, is I go for the glass barn walls. Now with the barn roofs is, as you can see, because they only snap to the actual barn pieces, they're a little bit of a, a nightmare to get in, and also that they're, they're raised up, so I basically put all this effort and then I have to take the walls off and lower it down. It's, it's incredibly haphazard way of doing things. But it's it's kind of, you'll see what I mean, I'll highlight it. But it, it's kind of fun because it's forcing, or not, not forcing me, I'm deliberately forcing myself to try and make things work in ways that they don't normally do. By like, snapping things unconventionally together, which you'll see. But I'm quite pleased with the way this turned out. This actually, I did get the annoying save game bug. Apparently it is just due to mods, and I think that's more it. It's not the creation cup, it's more just mods conflicting and, and making weird things. But basically this was going to be up, for those of you watching this when this drops, this was going to be up yesterday. And I basically got to finishing the building. So for example, where I'm going to show you a little bit of decoration in this video. And then I went to decorate kind of on my own and I lost all of my decoration, so just kind of sort of rage quit. I was like, I'll do this tomorrow, yeah? But I'm quite pleased, so it's all right. It happens a lot, Reese. I've just kind of accepted it. I should maybe with my decoration, when I ever do like 15 minutes or 10 minutes or more, I should save after 10 minutes. People keep asking me how to deal with that glitch, by the way, the little uh, memory save glitch. One, Bethesda should just fucking patch it, but they never will because it's Bethesda. Uh, by the way, I do change the glass in a sec, so don't worry. Um, but basically, you just make sure you have multiple saves. I back my saves up actually online and on a USB, so I have a PlayStation Plus, uh, but also I have four main saves, and then the auto saves, then the quick save as well. So basically, you know, there's rarely... I kind of try and make it so I have three saves going when I'm doing a build, and then you've got the previous saves, and I also back them up. Basically, I have a lot of backed up saves. <laughs> because I ain't having this shit go wrong. 
I'm not losing everything. So the glass roof works so well for this, especially given the idea, you know, it's meant to be a chapel, it's meant to be quite awe-inspiring. It works so well for this build, except this part where I completely forget how the roof snapped together. <laughs> You'll see me, like, I get really confused. I'm like, why isn't it? Basically, it's the end piece. Yeah, that, that's the reason why it wasn't working. But I get, like, proper confused. Obviously, I've sped this up, so imagine this, but, like, several minutes of me going, uh, what's going on there, lads? I don't remember. But it looks good. There we go. So the problem in a, in a minute, as you'll see, is obviously I want to be able, I want you to be able to see through the glass roof, but I've obviously gotten... I've gotten... God damn it, David. I have obviously placed the shack roofs down, which means it blocks the light. The problem is, then I take these off. Oh no, they're floating. So now I have to manually move them in. And spoiler, I don't actually put them in completely straight, but with the pillar, it's really easy, as you will see in a sec. This stuff isn't pointless because it means it's all lined up, so there is method to my rather haphazard madness. Those of you who are taking inspiration from this build might want to know kind of slightly easier ways of doing stuff, but it's fine. Doing it this way works, yeah? It's fine. So I've got, this is the pillar from the USO mod, and these little, the little check marks on the side are actually incredibly useful. But also this is where I realised that the whole thing's not even straight anyway. But it's fine, because it's really easy for me to just, sort of just move it back into place, yeah? It's fine, I'll use that as a, i use that as a gauge, that's what I do. Looks good. It looks good. Oh, I'm really pleased with this one though. You will like the candle lighting. Also, I use one of the spoiler. I use one of the industrial spotlights. So in the the mod from a few days ago, the uh, the lighting mod uh, that I reviewed, you can just go from my videos. I can't be asked to link it this time. But basically, so there is one of the industrial spotlights, and I use that to kind of as a as a focus point to kind of make it so it, it where the where the podium is, where where the priest is meant to kind of give their give their sermons or uh, w whatever way they like to worship, um, it's all lit up. I was actually going to have someone standing on a rug and I completely forgotten. And there are also prayer rugs as well. So I was going to do that and have like someone all dressed to the nines or priestly. I completely forgot to do that. Bugger. It's fine. Just imagine it, yeah? Also, because Sunshine Tidings Cop, I don't know how close this is to being finished because the problem with this settlement is there are loads and loads of like little things I need to do. So I don't know how I'm going to finish it. I am going to finish it. We'll get a tour. But I don't know what other major structures there are. But I, like, there's, if you look around, there's just going to be loads of detail. So for example, I might do one more build video on the little kind of the pre-existing houses. Those ones to the, I don't know what they're called. The cabins, that's what they're called. But I don't know if we're going to actually, like I don't know how to fill the void yet. Because there's lo you see all that space? There's loads of space. This is the problem where you have a big settlement, is you end up having loads of chaff space. So here's what you can see, just moving stuff around. <laughs> it's fine, you do it by eye, it's alright. It's an adventure, yeah? I could snap all this stuff together and be normal, or, right, I could do it like this, and it works. So look at that, see, it's fine, it's fine. I was properly zoning out when I made this as well, because the Put Rabbit book, really, really good. Yeah, really, really good. So as you can see, the way this connects together is like, it looks kind of conventional, but it's incredibly actually unconventional the way it's made. And I really enjoyed that. It just kind of things that you normally can't do and you don't realize, you look at it and think, oh yeah, that looks cool. And then you realize, oh, it's built in an incredibly obnoxious way. So um, I do skip a little bit of the building because there's like a few bits of details. Like I put some reverse junk fences on the outside, which you don't need me to show you how to do because I've done it about a million times. And also, I put like a little bit on the front, which you'll see in a sec. But other than that, the main bit is I show I show the interesting stuff, yeah. So I pop these walls back on. I was initially uh, the reason why I put those chest high walls is I was thinking of having glass, like so you could see through this, but so you could see through those parts. Instead, I decided to have the glass on the ceiling instead. So in a second. So basically this is in the beams uh, mod that I reviewed a few days ago. And you see it's in structures, metals, roofs. And if you get all the way to the end, you've got this AC ducting. And this was just kind of a, I want to use this in some build in some way. And it's a really, really good technique. So basically these, as you can see, they kind of vaguely snap to the ceiling, but you can snap them to the side, the, the, the tops of walls. and they're quite flexible. You can see me kind of struggling a little bit with the moving around, but once I get them in the right position, I can kind of move them 
surprisingly up and down quite a bit. And then I can... I was really pleased with this. And then basically then I can make this kind of ducting going over the top. And it just looks really, really good. It adds a really, really cool texture. It was it was fun, basically. It was really, really fun. And as you, as you can see, so they're a bit annoying to get in initially, but once you kind of stop them jumping around like crazy people, it's quite... It's quite straightforward. Always fun when something's doing that when it's jumping up and down. You just kind of change the direction. So you just spin it around and it's usually fine. Same with crates and everything. Often there's kind of an, a side which maybe isn't as generous with its clipping. So see, for example, that side, see? It's been a bit stupid, but then I move it here and it's like, oh, actually, okay, I'll let you move it in. And now it's being really easy. Also, I cap these off quite well. Just saying. So I initially think, oh, God, it looks really stupid. Works really, really well. I'm very pleased. You'll see in a sec. Wait for it. Wait for it. This is me. This is this is the part I should have cut out, but didn't. Oh, I put this in first. And now that looks terrible. We don't like that. Mainly because look at it. Stupid. Stupid, David. What are you doing? It's fine. Because it's big bit here. And basically we just use that. that that's, that's the exciting thing. But it looks cool, right? And also you see how quite generous it is. You can kind of sync things in together. And then I was going to put these there. I was like, oh no, I can actually have it. So, so it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look silly. I mean, you could argue that it doesn't make any sense, because what's it connecting to? And I would say, shut your face. However, looks pretty cool, and ultimately, as I'm quite superficial, that's all that matters, isn't it? Really? So there we go. Oh, look at that. And you will see it in the tour quite a lot, so don't worry. And in a second, we do a little bit of decoration along the outskirts as well, the skirting board of it in a wee sec. Well, I just forget to cut that part out. Because, because, why not? In a minute, David. Yeah, here it is, here it is. I should have cut that out, but I didn't realise. Uh, so basically, I wanted to, again, kind of add a kind of industrial feel to this. Like, it's it's a chapel, but it's also kind of, it's the post-apocalyptic chapel. You know, I wanted it to look like something you might stumble across and say, Mad Max or something. And these catwalks just walked, 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 haha. <laughs> Worked, David. Worked quite well. Uh, again, these are from the uh, beams and supports mod, just because they're basically catwalks that are just at a funny angle. Really, really, really good. And you see, I just kind of move them. I show you a few of them. I don't show you all of them because it's a bit tedious. But the whole effect is really good, and especially when it's added with the decoration that I do add, it just, it's just nice. It adds this really cool texture to the wall. I try and do this a lot, like instead of like using posters or necessarily furniture, I instead try and use this stuff. Although to be fair in this one, I do also use quite a lot of furniture too. Um, but I'm really pleased with how this works. Right, well, tour is a now, so uh, I cut out the start a little bit, oops, it's fine. So here's the outside. Don't worry, I do like a proper tour. As you can see, so I've just put the reverse junk fences um, around the outside. Very, very simple. Very, very nice. It jumped a little bit there. I don't know if it will jump for you. Sorry about that. If it did, if it isn't, that's fine. My, my recording jumped a bit. Uh, there is the sign. So I'll show you the outside first. It's the first year's poster. There's the All Faiths Chapel. That's in the Posters of the Commonwealth mod. And then in... I don't know what that's from, but I just put a T on there. And then put the lighting. So I'm really pleased with how this is decorated. I took a while to decide and also then I lost all my decoration so I got really frustrated. I could have probably left it emptier. It looked cooler under the light by the way. Well, when, it, when it's dark we'll just show you a tour in a sec. But I could have left it emptier but I decided to kind of put a lot of junk. So this is where you worship the mechanist, the machine god. Looks cool. Loads of junk there. Very, very cool. Lots of books everywhere. And there's obviously the one true Todd uh, with loads of offerings of drugs because, you know, of. You know what I mean? And because I just needed a third thing, I didn't know what to do. <laughs> um, this is my rail row one, uh, which I like to think maybe this is actually not actually a shrine and it's actually a secret communication point. Or it could be a shrine if someone really likes Mila's. Um, so basically that is it. I really, really like the ducting as well, but we'll just have a nighttime tour as well because the, the, I'm really pleased with the light. It's really, really grand. So nighttime tour, here it is. So we'll scuttle forward. It looks really, really nice. I didn't go out to eat. One thing I did forget, I'm really annoyed, I completely forgot to put, when I did my original decoration, there was actually a candle, a couple of light sources in the, the little spire at the top, but I completely forgot. But anyway, here it is. Look at those candle light sources. Oh, 
Don't you feel the power of his toddness? Oh, or whoever you worship, doesn't really matter, it looks cool. I also love the fact that you can see the open sky as well. Really pleased with how this turned out. Anyway, hope you guys liked that. It gave you an inspiration, some inspiration too, because this was this was really fun to make. And definitely get yourself some lighting sources mods, because you can have a lot more fun. I especially like the way that the this kind of this industrial light here to the right, which I should kind of zoom in in a sec, is actually kind of really focusing on this one point. It looks really really cool. Anyway, as always, follow me on Twitter at no respawn. I will have a new video up soon, but until then, you lot enjoy the rest of your week. Most of enjoy me failing to open this door. You take care.